September 21st. My, I tell you, time is flying. Beautiful day here in Nanaimo. Maybe uh, in an hour or two I'll be all set up to uh, do a few more tests, but maybe maybe five or more tests to do to finish up the season. Anyway, this has been going through my mind the last couple of days. The uh, basic mechanics of the Joe pipe, I've, I've finished the upgrades and uh, if you go to uh, Joe Pipe Tech, that's Joe underscore Pipe underscore Tech at Yahoo Groups. Uh, just uh, if you type this in, it, it'll bring you up to the site. Then just go to the uh, files and press on files, and you will see the uh, uh, Joe Pipe up upgrades. And there's five different uh, variations. You're starting off with your basic model, which is which is. It's just a single pipe, right? And uh, this here is the uh, GP2 or the Joe Pipe 2, and this one involves a, a second pipe around the uh, uh, the first pipe, and it allows you to uh, inject your your fuel vapor, whether it be propane or whatever, and inject it in to where it is actually superheated by the pipe, and it actually uh, you give you. A, give you a hotter burn. Okay, so we're using the JP2 on this and uh, this video goes out to all you Joe Cell enthusiasts. I, I know many of you are uh, working on advancing your mileage on your car engine, but as we approach the colder uh, months of the season as we getting into fall now and, and soon that would be into winter. Uh, precedence needs to be on making Joe cells that could actually be uh, used for to, to make the Joe cell water, the stage three water. And someone sent me the link, I believe it was Dave. Hi Dave. Uh, sent me a link on, on Joe actually doing uh, burning water in a, in a silver spoon and uh, I heard about it, but that was actually the first time that I got to see it. And uh, if it works for water, it you should be able to take the, the charged water and uh, just bubble it. You, you, you probably need a, you are going to need a good supply of air, so eventually uh, the latent heat or the waste heat from the Joe pipe would be able be able to run a Stirling engine, and the Stirling engine would would provide you for would provide you with all the air that you need to run the system. So that's not yet, but that's future. Okay, just say for example, this is all set up. We actually have this set up in a shop. We have a bubbler going. We have our drill cell water in there. We turn on the air pump, and we're bubbling. We're converting uh, this water, which is already in a burnable state, into uh, from the liquid state into the gas state. And as it goes into the Joe pipe here, goes around the soapstone deflector. This here is more or less of a uh, like a tuner because the, the pipe is, does operate on frequency, like in the, in the same way that a pipe a pipe organ operates on, on frequency. And you'll be able to fine tune uh, the, the system to to be right on key, and every pipe will, will have its own resonant key. And by adjusting the uh, the soapstone tuner, uh, say eighth of an inch, a quarter inch either way, it's going to make a difference. It's going to improve the overall resonance and take off the white noise and smooth everything out. All right. And the, the beauty about this is having water that's already charged you may not have to use propane as a uh, as a primer to get it going. It it'd be nice to have it on hand, and for testing purposes, uh, I would be running uh, propane, then adding the, uh, the the Joe gas. I'm going to call it the Joe gas to the uh, Joe pipe here. And from what I've seen on the uh, characteristics of the 
uh, Joe gas burning, where Joe was kind of kind of waved it on the table, and made this beautiful burn. It should work quite well with the pipes. You, I would imagine you're going to get at least a uh, a red, not red point, or uh, when you heat metal, it heats it up to different colors. It should heat it up to at least the orange state, or bring it uh, beyond the. Uh, the orange state, but it's going to be very interesting to, to see what it does. It'll probably increase the the capitation end of the Joe pipe uh, more so than the uh, the vortex end. And uh, but what we're aiming for is to have a closed system to uh, where you can be uh, fully uh, unplugged from the system, and uh, that way you're not. You don't have to worry about having to go out and buy propane or buy fuel oil. You can you have a system where you can generate your own fuel. And, uh, and the time is coming. We're going to need this because the oil is not going to last forever. And uh, you know it's going to everything like that that's oil dependent. It's going to have to make a shift. So we're just ahead of the game here. And the beauty about this is that once you're set up, it doesn't cost you anything to run. You can generate your own fuel. You can use this for heating your home. You can use it for uh, heating all the hot water you could ever use, or even making steam. And uh, if you go to the uh, forum site, uh, Joe Pipe Tech, and just look under files, you'll see the five variations that are drawn up in, in this last week here. I don't know. Is there going to be a part two in this? Maybe. And uh, I was up, my mind kept going all last night to early this morning about uh, how this Joe gas can actually be introduced as a steam. You can uh, hear it's been introduced as a vapor. But if you actually had a steamer here, and I might do a part two you would get a more intense reaction and you, you would probably get low level plasma and uh, okay might do a part two all right so here we're talking about how stage three joe cell gas can be used as a fuel to power the joe pipe so that people can be unplugged and energy uh, interdependent, no, no longer having to rely on the system. And uh, the way it looks with the economy and all that is the American economy is taking a shaking, so it's going to call, you know, cause a spiral of inflation, it looks like. So we need to do something now while we have the time. And, and uh, there's no reason why some of you out there uh, that have the shop to have some time to start uh, taking Joe cell water and making a simple bubbler and just put it through a pipe and uh, just see if it's going to burn or not. One thing that I'm concerned with would be a uh, uh, flashback. And you, 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 even though you have a bubbler here that's making the fuel, you don't want to have some kind of flashback there. That's what I, why I was thinking about the steam. If you're making the steam and uh, converting the making this thing burnable at the source uh, that might be more beneficial. Even here, if you have Joe cell water that hasn't been charged, you might be able to make some kind of uh, induction coil here. Maybe we'll, we'll get into that in, in the second part. Okay, that's it for the first part of uh, Joe cell gas. Second part coming up.